Hi, I'm James Wiebe with CRU, and what I want to show you today uh, is the Ditto Forensic Workstation from Wiebe Tech. We're going to jump in and look at some of the command and control capabilities of Ditto. We have a real environment set up in front of us on the computer screen here with five different uh, tabs. I'm going to explain each one, but the bottom line is, is that I am at headquarters right now, wherever that happens to be, and I've got uh, a couple of different remote locations set up. And this is a real setup. I have this right now. I'm hooked to a VPN uh, into Vancouver, Washington, where we have a, a couple of dittos. We're also hooked up into Wichita, Kansas, where we have a ditto as well. We're live into all of those. We've done a little bit of extra work. Uh, the ditto up in Vancouver is being viewed through a net cam. This is live. Now, I've got a case investigator out there as well at one of these locations who is working on a case on ditto. Uh, and is having a little bit of trouble. So what I've done is uh, I've set up an action on this particular ditto. By the way, this one is at the 123 gateway, which is our Vancouver location. Uh, we're looking at this section log right now, and we see that I have logged into this particular ditto. Uh, but uh, we're not quite sure what his problem is. Uh, it looks like he failed to do the action that we wanted. What I'm going to do up here is I'm going to go over the action. I'm going to go ahead and start it. What I'm doing is imaging from a source partition on a hard drive to a destination partition on another hard drive. So I'm doing this right now. Uh, the action is actually starting on this particular hard drive. And uh, we'll get some evidence on the, of that. You can see here it says it's running and scanning. Uh, meanwhile, uh, my investigator is, is over there and uh, we're letting it run from here, but he's going to go ahead and stop that. And he did, and we can see that uh, on my screen here, through the VPN, I've been alerted that the operation was aborted. So uh, this is just an example of me being able to command an operation and work with a colleague in a distant city on the exact same unit. Uh, in other words, all the smarts of your headquarters can be at work on the task of solving a problem while a field investigator is helping you attach drives and attach networks. So uh, this provides a new paradigm in how we look at uh, evidentiary information. Let's take a look at a couple of the other screens as well. Uh, this is the ditto that I'm hooked up to locally. I've hooked it up through my local network. I have it running through a router, but I essentially am direct connected to this particular ditto. And its operation is just the same as the one that's over in Vancouver. If I stay start over here, uh, the operation starts, uh, and I can stop it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in a moment. I've now stopped that particular action, and I've controlled this ditto just the same way that I've controlled the one that's over in Vancouver. What I want to do now is uh, go to the uh, ditto that's in Wichita, Kansas, and actually take a look at what's the contents of the hard drive there. So I've called that up. That's through my 125 gateway. Uh, I see partition number one. I just asked it to preview the partition. It popped right up. Remember, this is operating through a VPN, and this ditto is physically 1,400 miles from my current location. I'm going to go ahead and select that partition. I see something called test files. I'm going to open up test files. Comes up right away. We have a list of five different files that are there, uh, four, four files in one folder. I see something called PIC. I'm going to go ahead and open that, and we get a picture immediately that came through the VPN from the Ditto 1,400 miles away. Uh, I'm interested in that picture. I'm going to right click on it, hit download. Uh, it's going to give me the opportunity to name it. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to call that Evidence Photo Wichita. Save. We now have captured that quick file from a computer from a hard drive that's 1,400 miles away to my computer that I'm working with right now. Uh, back over here to some of the other features that we have going on. This is the control panel for the ditto that we call Ditto 1C. Uh, we have the camera that's focused on him. Uh, we're talking to this particular ditto through a VPN as well. I want to go back over into the configuration on this. We see a button under System Settings for Stealth Mode. I'm going to go ahead and select Stealth Mode and say Commit. And then we're going to go back to the camera and we can now see that that particular ditto, uh, the screen has gone dark. That's because through the VPN, 
through the network, I was uh, able to command the screen to turn off. The ditto itself is still working great. We didn't turn the ditto off. All we did was turn off the lights and indicators. Back over to here, go ahead and hit that, hit commit changes, come back to the camera. By the time we've made it back to the camera, we already see that the uh, lights on the uh, ditto have turned back on. So in summary, we are able to uh, uh, look at a ditto that's locally attached to our computer. Uh, this one being 124.233. That's the ditto that's just a couple feet to my left right now. We're able to look at a web camera that's aimed at one of the dittos uh, through a VPN. Uh, here's that same ditto. Uh, back on the home screen, we can see that that ditto has a multiplicity of source and destination drives hooked up to it. We're able to look at another ditto on the same VPN, uh, and we see that it sees some of the same kinds of resources. We're able to look at a ditto that happens to be in Wichita, Kansas, also through VPN. This one is physically 1,400 miles away from where we're at, and yet it's responding just like it's right here. Uh, we can do imaging from any of the resources on any of those dittos to any storage device that's contained on the VPN that we're using, or we can save it to the hard drive that is literally attached to those dittos, or if we have some time and patience, we can save it back to a storage device that's connected through the VPN on the computer that I'm attached to right now. Basically, we can about do anything that we want to do, including triaging the drives. And that gets us uh, uh, caught up to the moment. Uh, we are impressed with how we can see a whole bunch of resources and work with investigators that are in the field.